Memory as a Hearing Aid by Tony Hoagland. Somewhere, someone is asking a question. And I stand squinting at the classroom with one hand cupped behind my ear, trying to figure out where that voice is coming from. I might be already an old man, attempting to recall the night his hearing got misplaced. Front row center at a battle of the bands where a lot of leather-clad, second-rate musicians amped up to dinosaur proportions test drove their equipment through our ears. Each time the drummer threw a tantrum, the guitarist whirled and sprayed us with machine gun riffs as if they wished that they could knock us quite literally dead. We called that fun in 1970 when we weren't sure our lives were worth surviving. I'm here to tell you that they were, and many of us did despite ourselves, though the road from there to here is paved with dead brain cells, parents shocked to silence, and squad cars painting the whole neighborhood the quaking tint and texture of red jelly. Friends, we should have postmarks on our foreheads to show where we have been. We should have pointed ears or polka-dotted skin to show what we were thinking when we hot-rotted over God's front lawn and death kept blinking. But here I stand, an average-looking man, staring at a room where someone blonde in braids with a beautiful belief in answers is still asking questions. Through the silence in my dead ear, I can almost hear the future whisper to the past. It says that this is not a test, and everybody passes.